Good morning, my able clients. Good morning, everybody watching me. So today I want to discuss about uh, aluminium, aluminium in general, aluminium that is used for roofing. You see, what I observe these days is that a lot of people that use aluminium, they're having problem after some years. They have a problem of leakage, leakage. I've received a lot of calls on aluminium leaking. Even last year, I have changed two houses in Benin. Not, I'm not the one that did it too. I've changed two houses from aluminium to, to stone coated. We have to pull down the stone uh, aluminium on top and we redo the polar spacing and put stone coated. You know, the stone coated that that person don't want to use before, he still come and use it. When he saw that he has done a lot of repair, repair, and nothing is still leaking. You see, this thing is just very simple. When aluminum starts giving you problem, it is not the aluminum, it is the woodwork itself. You see, a lot of carpenter, you know, carpenter is different. Installer is different. They are technician. The installer that wants to install the aluminum, his own is just to install and get his money. It's not there to advise you that this one will not work for this, this one will not work for this. And carpenter too, that is giving you quotation. What he is just looking is to give you the best quotation that is lower so that you can give him the job. It's not bother to ask you which gauge of aluminum you are using and which type of aluminum you want to use, the type of woodwork you want to do. You just tell you, you just tell him that you want long span. You just give you the cheapest quotation, and you jump into it. You give him the job, and he did it for you. It goes. You just see that when you look at the woodwork physically, everything is beautiful and it's fine. It doesn't have problem. Carpenter are the people that have the least problem because they are the one that did the first work. You know, when they do their own work, even though it's bad, you can't know unless you now put roof there. So they boycott the carpenter. So the person that now do the lasting job, which is the knocking of the roofing, is the one that will now is the one that will now face all the problem. And most of them too, the technician, they don't even know. They will just be going to repair, repair. They will repair this year, put flash band, put more nail. Next year, the thing will still leak again. You see, according to what I have discussed. In my previous video, everything have limits, and we, there is what we call elastic limits and linear expansivity of everything. You see, a lot. That's why I do advise people that if you have the money, go for stone coated. If you want to have peace, go for stone coated. Stone coated have the least maintenance, and it does not give you problem. If stone coated will leak, you will identify this is the nail point that is leaking and you fix it. If you see that stone coated is leaking constantly, it is the woodwork. It's easier to correct that of stone coated compared to that of aluminum. You may be looking at aluminum that is simple, just straightforward, nothing. <laughs> but when its problem starts, it can it can give you headache and give you stress. So that's why I used to tell people that when you are doing aluminium, when you are using aluminium for your work, either long span, step ties, you see, Metcopo is worse, followed by step ties, followed by long span. All of them are worst, but the one that is more, more harmful is the Metcopo, if the woodwork is bad. You will repair, repair, and later, you will just tired and come and remove everything and go back to stone coated. You see, a lot of people forget one thing. When you are using aluminium, aluminium have grade. There is 0.35, there is 0.4, there is 0.45, there is 0.55, there is 0.65, and there is 0.7. The thicker it is, the more better it is. The thicker the aluminium, the more better it is. Don't just look money, money, money. The thicker the aluminium, the more better it is. It's not that you cannot use 
all of them. You can use all of them. In fact, in 2016, there is one aluminium I did in the Fuga. No, it's Urumi. I did it in Urumi, in Edo State. The owner of that building wanted to use stone coated. So he did a woodwork of a stone coated. And the person is in, uh, I think, uh, Russia. She had a problem then. And she's building this house for his mother. He's already done the woodwork. We went to measure it. We want to use stone coated. So he just fed up that it's not even continuing again. What can he do? So I gave, I said, okay, you can use aluminum. I gave quotation of four, five. See, you, can, you don't have the money for that for five. We now give a quotation of three five. Okay, manage this three point zero point three five and use it. Can you imagine? Since then, since then, I've never the woman has never called me. I used to, even after three years, I used to chat her after see the house is good, they are living there, nothing is happening. Three five for that matter. Why is that three five? Not having problem till now. This is 2023. Since 2016, early 16. In fact, January 2016. Till now, they live. They are living in that house. We never had any problem of leakage. No problem. Nothing. Nothing. The reason is that the woodwork of that house is made for stone coated, meaning that the wood are straight. They are good. And the polar spacing are very close. So we know, we know that we are using 0 0.35. So we bought more accessories, more washer, more nail, and nail the nearest points. You see, when some installer are installing aluminum, they can put one nail in this place, they will jump other roof. Put another nail. That's how if you check, if you climb on top of long span, that's how they do it. They can put one nail in the one meter. They will jump another space. They will put another nail there. I don't know why they are jumping. You see, everybody is doing those things just to give the client the best quotation that will be less. You know probably that you need to nail all the points. But because of you don't the person will complain that ah, so so, so person give me this. This, so you reduce it. Instead of you to buy the nail of 20,000 Naira that will be good for that roof, you are buying the nail of 5,000 Naira. So what will you do is to manage the nail, is to jump some space, nail it here, nail it here, nail it here. So when the problem comes now, it will go back to the owner of the house and you that also install the roofing, you also face the problem because they will be calling you time to time. The roof is leaking today, it's leaking tomorrow, we'll be going and later the installer will fed up. The problem will now remain to the owner of the house. So woodwork is very, very paramount to aluminium. Woodwork of aluminium is very, very paramount. Let me, let me do analysis of how aluminium would work and how it works. So let me use this uh, two paper. So this is a sheet of aluminium. Hope you can see it. This is a sheet of aluminium, and this is another sheet of aluminium. You know when you are installing now, you overlap it. You do it like this. You overlap. So they overlap each other like this. So this is the spacing. Now this is where the overlap occurs. You know you have a wood that cross it like this. You have a wood. So if the distance, let's say we have a wood here. We have a wood here. We have three wood that is holding this length of aluminium. Three wood that is supporting it at the base. We have one, one, uh, one wood here, another wood here, another wood here. So when you nail it now, you see those wood that are supporting it here, then, when wind is blowing or there is pressure or there is heavy rain, when wind is blowing, Wind, even if wind is touching this area, it cannot pull this area down because there is wood that is supporting the base already. Hope you understand my analysis. But if we have only one wood here, let's say we have only one wood here in this length of aluminium, another wood is now supporting the next aluminium. You see, there will be there will be the support that are here is lesser. 
So if there is any pressure, this place will go inside. If this place go inside, water will be gushing in from this place. That is how aluminium leak. So it will be leaking in all the overlap, not even the nail points now. The overlap, because no wood is here. So if there is wood here, if you have wood here, if you have wood here, you nail this point because there is wood here. You nail this point. This place cannot open and it cannot go down. If you want to open, this nail will support it. If you want to open, this nail will support it. If you want to go down, the wood down will support it. So it's not going down. So there will not be any open in this overlap. Even though there will be a leakage, a leakage can just be a nail point that is falling in the gutter. That is what can make this one leak. Because there is support. You see, aluminium is so now. If the aluminium is to, to advantage now, to disadvantage here now, the, uh, the wood supports and the thickness of the aluminium itself. If the aluminium is too flexible, if it's too, if it's too flexible, not thick at all, not thick at all, and the wood, the distance are wide, it will be easy for any small wind like this, any small pressure, any small nail, it will be easier for the aluminium to open in this overlap. But if the aluminium is thick and strong, if it's thick, pressure cannot, before you can see a pressure until person step on it, until person walk on it and step on this lapping before you can see any down. And again, some people that also walk, somehow that have penthouse, people that plaster it when they climb on top of the roof, because they are not installer, they don't know where to match. They also cause all those damages. Because if you went to some or houses, there's one house I did in Badon. When they were plastering the house, come and see how they step on everything. Come and see how they step on. Thank God it's stone coated. Come and see how they step on. They even damage most of the thing because they are plastering the penthouse. So we need to take note of those things. It is not sometimes it's not the installer or the roof that is people that do the plastering or people that are working there that match on those things. Those things are high on. They are just flex. Aluminium is not strong. It's just flexible. So stepping on aluminium anyhow will make it to sag. And when it sag, it will start leaking. When you go the under, you may not even see the opening under. When but when water is going, you know water finds space you will see that water is entering through those places. So, the woodwork you are doing for aluminium, if you want to use steel 5, just note, tell your carpenter, if he's experienced, he's using steel 5. You can see that the quotation he will be giving you, if he's an experienced carpenter, or you two can guide him, if the quotation he will be giving you will be different from other people. Other people just ask you that you are using aluminium, not even telling, not asking the thickness you are using, the quality you are using. Just say you are using aluminium, they just go and do your spacing. Some people will even use spacing of 900 millimeters to do the space of aluminium that will be using 4 5. That house will give you a problem every year, I guarantee. That house will give you a problem every year and year and year and year. Every year that rain falls like this, you will have leakage. They will still go there and patch it. Another year, you still have leakage. If you don't want to have all this problem, you must make sure you use enough 2x2 two two to support, to do, you reduce the pull line spacing. Do a small pull line spacing. The difference of those wood are very, very minute. It's not much. Maybe the difference of like, if it's, you are using normal spacing, maybe the difference is of like 40 pieces of wood or 30, some even 20 something. We reduce the space, we give you stress for life. We do your roof for life without any maintenance. The money some people spend on maintenance and the problem they face on maintenance is better, is bigger, is better than when they, if they have known it will have used the better wood and better grade of aluminium. Like me now, if you call me that I should come and do step ties for four five, I don't do that. I don't even do metcopo. Because I see that. There are a lot of factors in Nigeria. One, our wood are not even thick again. Those are, there are a lot of disadvantage. Our wood, the 2x2 two two is not up to 2x2. Two two. The wood are not thick, they are not straight. 
And the carpenter that also doing the wood board, they are not even considering what you are using. They are just giving you the quotation. You complain that their quotation is high. They reduce everything. When they reduce money for you, you know they are reducing a lot of things that you don't know. As soon as they do it, they leave the site. You don't even know. And the installer you call, the company that you are also calling to come and roof it for you, they are not considering those things. They just want to sell their products and go. Or you go and buy it yourself, you call an installer, he just want to do his own work and go. When the roof have problem, you will be calling him, he will be charging you maintenance to buy this, buy that. So please, people, take note of all this problem and fix it once and for all. I told you again, let me repeat, I've used 0 0.35 in a house that never leaked up to now. The lesser gauge. And there's one person also that also called me that time that he wants to use 0 0.35. But when I go to his site, I see the kind of woodwork. He has already even paid me. And I advise him that this your house cannot go with 35. He said that is the money you have. I say I advise him go for 0 0.45. He said can't go. I just return his money to him. Because I can't face the problem. Because when people don't know now, they will just go to online to go and start making noise that what you do, you do a bad, you do a bad work for him. So those are the experience I've seen from people. Because a lot of people are facing problems, especially those people that are doing flat wood, flat, flat roofing. I've done a several that a lot of people that that have done flat aluminium for most. A lot never complain because those people that follow me up from the woodwork and they're able to they're able to follow my advice on the woodwork, no problem. If you follow all those things, you won't have any problem. If you do a woodwork of stone coated and you use 0 0.45 step tile, it never leak because the spacing are very close. If you do a spacing of 900 you now use 0 0.35 aluminium, you are just damaging the house. Or you use 4.5 aluminium, you are just damaging the house. Not that you cannot use all this thickness, you can use it, but you need to specify your woodwork. Your woodwork has to align with what you want to use. That's what I'm saying. You don't just do a woodwork, because you say you are doing long span, just don't do a woodwork and just go and buy any aluminium and install it there. You will face the problem. So, if you have the money, even nowadays, self, the aluminium mostly aluminium is even higher than stone coated. Stone coated are lesser now because it's more lesser. You can't even compare stone coated and the best, the best four five aluminium long span four five in the market now. The best one is above three thousand naira per meter. And stone coated is the stone coated stone coated ah yes you see three seven three eight what's the difference step ties in in like being in a step tie five thousand four thousand you can't compare aluminium with all those things so stone coated will make some something i've explained stone coated give you have many advantage no stress no problem so that's what i just want to advise on the uh, aluminium, thank you very much for watching this episode.